Here we are. This is it. This is it. <laughs> <laughs> well, hello there. So we are this morning. We're heading out to the shed in County Tipperary, uh, which is the training base of Simon Stanbridge. Um, we're going to go there and um, have a look at the place chat to Simon about how he set it up and you know um, his training there how long he's been there when the shed was built when the shed was built what kind of the history behind the shed tools that they used to build the shed <laughs> the opening hours of the shed uh, <laughs> and um, I guess I suppose while we're at it we'll ask him you know any tips he might have for people who want to set up their own shed and uh, <laughs> <laughs> um, well, one thing you can definitely tell us about is, you know, setting up a home gym um, on a very limited budget. You know, what are the things to maybe spend a bit more money on and then maybe some things where you can get away with spending less on. And maybe, like, what it's like training on your own in a shed, you know? What, what's that actually like on a day-to-day -day basis? So this is the wonderful fat heart. Yep. He's reversing, he doesn't even know. I'm reversing at home, lads. Yes, better. Wonderful shit. Oh, it looks nice because the water's there. Yeah, I've been in more spots. Yeah. You've been to Nina, yeah? I've been to Nina, yeah. <laughs> no, no thanks, Nora. I bought my car. Oh, that's very nice. Down here is nice. That's drawing material right there. Now. Yeah, it is, yeah. It is actually, yeah. It's the oldest medieval wall in Ireland. Is it? Wow. Yeah. For fuck's sake. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Who left the geese out? <laughs> <laughs> Not a fucking beginning. Oh, they don't care. They, they've been here as long as I've been alive. Not oh, them, wow. not, there have been geese. Yeah, 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 yeah. I get you. Class. Yeah, they're like the town master. You're a geese man. Fuck you, Ryan, you saw them. And then he died. So Simon's going to give us the grand tour. Now. What you make it? What you make it? Is it what you were expecting? Um, I think so. Yeah. Yeah. Um, look at uh, look at all the monster there. Now I was um. The middle one's actually signed by Brett Gibb. Go away. Yeah. Which one? The bag, the middle white one. It says Shane McCona, and he signed it. <laughs> See that? Yeah, I'll get that in there. Get that. Get that in some B-roll. So we have, what have we? Squat stand. Have those safeties ever been tested? The safeties, yeah, they have, yeah. 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 And do they? Yeah, they're fine. I've failed over 200 a couple of times. Now, so. Really? Yeah. Yeah, they're right there, like, like, you could, they're, they're is this pretty is, solid. Is this bolted down? No. It's just, yeah. It's pretty secure, so. It's grand, like, yeah. yeah. It's, if, if you didn't have the weights there, it would be a bit, you know, you'd, you'd, but let's say, well, like, if you have, you know, an ER rack, it's going to be, oh yeah, it's, it's an Alico. <laughs> <laughs> Alico shed stand. <laughs> And uh, these are more secure than they look. <laughs> Excellent. What's the heaviest you've done here? Um, I've loaded up two fifty on it, but I haven't. I've, I've walked out. I can yeah. the squat. So two fifty is the most that's held. So. And it didn't start oh, rattling fine. or anything. It's fine. Yeah. Right. And you got something to make it a. Yeah. So somebody on some deal was like advertising squat racks for like one hundred fifty euro. Go away. Yeah. So he uh, he's from Carrick. Right. It's just, like, it's same, like Johnny, because yeah, yeah. it's actually, you'd think, they were, you'd think they were set, wouldn't you, really? Because they're the exact same, like, mm. kind of, uh, I don't know what you call it, steel, is it? Or but, uh, yeah, so 150 euro, and it's it's rock solid, like, you know. It's, That's the same one now you got, isn't it? Yeah, same yeah, one. So Johnny, yeah, Johnny, same yeah, same guy who made it. Class. Yeah. I, made, I made a slight adjustment in that, I cut, so that was up to here as well. So it was hard to kind of hook the, the jack under the bar, mm. if you get me, so I just kind of cut, like, two inches off. Make it easier to so between the the jack the bench the platform yeah the bar plates and the stand yeah how much did you spend on the, the whole setup i should not stop my head it's i'm pretty sure it's less than two less than 1500 i think i'm gonna say so the bar was 425 the rack was actually 175 because i got jacobs as well which are mm. not actually held on by tape that's just to protect the bar <laughs> So that were they were yeah so one seven five, I just made this I made the platform myself from just bits of wood I had so free, um, the plates, 
Let me think. I think they were roughly six hundred. That's not bad. For three hundred some kilos. Yeah. So I have I have six sets of twenty like, mm. which I don't even need. <laughs> um, the bench was like fifty quid. Give her a guess over. Uh, so about fifteen hundred, give or take. Not too bad. Yeah. So I have um, a couple like I've got like a curl bar there as well. I have an old Ali bar. <clears throat> and did you have to do a lot of shopping around to make sure you could guess what you wanted from the budget you had or was it just it's, it's kind of just built up really time. slowly so like yeah. when it first started I didn't have a platform I just had the rack and I had a cheap bar so I bought mm. like a weight set for 400 euro it was like a 180 kilo set like an Elvery's job kind of thing yeah it was like from some crowd up in Dublin like some like yeah. Irish, lift, Irish lift I think it was oh yeah yeah so I got like a 180 kilo set from that um, so I literally just had that in the squat rack that was it. That's all I had. I had like mats. Exact. Actually, it's deadlift outside. Really? Before, um, yeah. Like, before like in the rain. Uh, yeah. So yeah. yeah. So I used to like just bring the bar out here. This is when I very, at the very start. I just set up mats here. Yeah. And I just deadlift. Bro. I deadlift like a hundred and something kilos. Like it wasn't much. And this is obviously obviously your your, Actually, your home the home. Actually, squat rack used to be outside huh? as well. The squat rack used the squat rack used to be against this wall, because there wasn't any room in here before. It was just madness. So you just cleared this place. So I just cleared it out, like yeah. to make enough room, like yeah. But um. But so like obviously this is your home home. So I mean, how yeah. did, how did your family and stuff take um, take it when like you started. They're this whole operation. Yeah, they're like, they didn't think it was no, weird or anything. No, no, no. Well, they might have thought it was weird. They didn't vocalize it to me anyway, but they might have thought it was weird. But yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Still wants to. I actually had a home gym set up a few years back, but mm. the, the response was was slightly different. <laughs> <laughs> And the only worrying thing is like, because there's not an awful lot, there's like half inch of wood and half inch of rubber stuff there. So if you're deadlifting heavy, I know if there's like the cracks in the house. Go ahead. Yeah. And you can actually, if you, uh, if you go into the kitchen and you look at the scene, you can see there's cracks in the scene. <laughs> so they're looking for me leaving, I'd say. <laughs> but yeah, yeah, that's, yeah. I don't know, I kind of, um, once I start something, I kind of obsess about it. And like that, a lot of things, so. That sounds like me. I kind of just. You even have your own records board. Yeah. Don't don't show them. Don't show them. <laughs> <laughs> Jeff, that was show your enemies. Yeah, that was something. And there's my my awards collection. Yeah. Of two IDFPA medals and uh, default first place from Nationals 2016. <laughs> I think I did all of those comps with you. You did. Yeah. You did actually. Yeah. 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 That's 2014. <clears throat> yeah. That was the that was that my one? first competition. That's actually a really nice medal as well, mm. I think. It's a lovely medal. It's a lovely medal. Yeah. So that was yeah, that was my first competition. I'm glad glad that they upgraded then the year oh after. Oh my god, yeah. <laughs> that was that was the one in Torbis, yeah, I did that as well, didn't I? Yeah. And then that was in UL, then the IPF. Oh yeah. I bought this for fifty euro off the strength shop and I literally haven't used it. It's not going in yet. When it says powerlifting on it, just in case you didn't. Did you buy that recently? <laughs> oh, I bought that about two years ago. I'd say I just haven't used it. Oh, go away. <laughs> I bought because it was cheap. Uh, it was yeah. Like, it was like 40 euro. Like, so I was like, oh, fuck it. Oh, well, then why not? I need to have a prong belt. But yeah. It's so thick. I can't, like, that can't be 13 mil. Like, compared to the. Mm. Like, that's a substantial difference. <laughs> that's like 16 mil. <laughs> I have my very first belt here that I'm keeping. It's a ah, bit, yeah. you know. Yeah. But yeah, I can't, I can't hurt with it. And when did you first start training at home? So I s first started training at home, it would have been late 2014, I'd say. So I started training, full stop, I started when I was in the UL, so I started training the, in the arena. Mm. <clears throat> so I just kind of I just progressed. I came home, I didn't really have the money to pay for a gym membership, so I literally got like, I still have the old bench, like it's literally an old Elvery's bench with like the one inch spin lock weights. Yeah, so I got that for free. So really? I, just, I just had that in here, yeah. I got free up from like my, my sister's fiance. So I used to just train on that. So all I could do was bench. I didn't have squat, I couldn't squat. And I couldn't really deadlift because it was like the biggest plate. That's actually, these are the plates. These are the plates, these. And that's the biggest plate I had at 10. Right. <laughs> Eventually, I think I bought the weight set before I bought the squat rack. Just so I could do deadlifts. Mm. Yeah, 150 quid for the squat squ rack, like, so it was, like, it's a bit of a pain, like, there's, you know, like, massive gaps in the, yeah. so, like, it's either this or, like, down here, or, like, up here, so. Presumably it hasn't changed, has it? Not really. Well, I had to make it a bit, because 
I have it on to raise a little bit just to make it because it was really low. Okay. Even now it's probably a bit lower than if I was on a Neo rack, I'd probably have a bit higher. But that's, it's not a Neo rack, it's a Nico rack actually. <laughs> <laughs> and if you were like, if someone was watching this now and was wondering about, say they were interested in setting up their own home gym, mm. what kind of things would they need to be aware of? Like if you were, if you were to go back and yeah. tell your former self so, uh, about, about mistakes maybe that you made about setting up a home gym or what you might do differently. It's like difficult that. to see it at the start, but you're better off buying slightly better kit. Because mm. I'd say I bought every piece of kit I have, apart from the squat rack, I bought more than one of them. So yeah, that's my yeah. third bar, my second set of plates, you know, even the belt, my third belt, you know, it's everything I buy. Every, I bought as cheap as I possibly could and kind of suffered down the line because there's not much upgradability, so you kind of have to, like that's the second set of plates, the first set, they're, even they're, they're not expensive plates, but just do a bit of research and kind of look, because the first plates I bought, they were way too small, like they were like 38 mil, or 38 centimeters, sorry, but that's like tiny, I was pulling from a deficit for the first. So how much of a deficit percent. is that? That's, it was about, actually they're even pretty small as well, so the first ones, it's six, seven, so three and a half centimeters deficit. Which is substantial. <laughs> What's that inches? It's like inch and a half. Oh wow! Yeah. Right. Okay. Yeah. So you're you're getting on for you're deadlift and half a deficit. Yeah, because like the first time I did a competition, then I was pulling on like an eco plates. My third attempt was like a warm up because I was pulling yeah, basically yeah, like yeah. a block pull, like you know. Yeah. <laughs> so yeah, look into things like that. Look into like regulate, and the same with the bench. If you're for powerlifting anyway, make sure you have the right height, mm. or if not, at least you can fix it in such a way that you're the right your feet are the right height on the floor. Yeah. Because yeah, that's yeah. why I use these like if I that's a bit high you see so if I used to, I used to put my feet on these so that it's otherwise my feet are much lower than they will be on comp day and it's just a bit it throws you. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. And then other small things like see the bar, see the old bar I used to use, you know so it was like tape <laughs> two rings. <laughs> so because it only had the Olympic rings. Yes, yes. I yes. didn't know that that, that was there a was a different yeah. distance. So I was benching max index grip mm -hmm. but it was like out here because I was using the Olympic grip the Olympic rings. So again, I went into competition and my bench was four centimetres narrower yeah. on either side. So and it's just things like that. Like, you know, of course, most standard gym bars <coughs> will be that. Exactly. Yeah. Olympic and bar. even, even, yeah. Some, even some of them, they don't even... Like, I've, be, I've used commercial gym bars and they're, they're easily like 32 mil diameter. Mm. Like, they're massive, really chunky bars. and No centre nerve. Yeah. So that was kind of another thing that I wanted. Because at the time, well, there still isn't any like, powerlifting gyms in Tipperary. There's like gyms that like cater for it but yeah but even back when i started those gyms weren't there so i didn't want to be kind of going into a commercial gym doing this kind of training every day you know it's just i'd rather do it on my own <laughs> yeah yeah and with with like the bars and the old plates you used to have yeah how much of a uh difference was there in terms of um like what they said they weighed and what they actually weighed big difference so Again, when I started, I wouldn't have assumed to weigh all the plates. I assume if they say it's 20, it's going to be 20. Mm. So eventually I kind of got more into it and I kind of realized some, you know, some plates there could be a discrepancy. So I weighed the bar and the bar was 16 and a half kilos. <laughs> and the plates, even, actually these plates aren't perfect either. They're like, I have it written on them. So I know what way to load them up. Okay. So on the first plates, they were way off. I had some that were 18 and I had some that were 21 and a half, 22. So they were a good bit off. And these ones I have... So I have four sets that are actually 20 dead. Or sorry, two sets. Yeah. Four plates that are 20 dead. And then I have three minus 0.6. I'm very specific. Three that are minus, <coughs> minus 600 grams. 0.6 makes a difference. Yeah, no, especially for, for you. Know, if you're on the five plates. Side as well, yeah, yeah. Yeah. So, and I have a couple plus 0.3. And a couple plus 0.5, I think. But I have it set up so that it's balanced. So I'll always have... The first two I use will always be the... The 20 dead mm. so 100 kilos will be 100 kilos then the next one i'll have <clears throat> normally let's say if i'm going to four plates i'll have the minus 0.6 and the plus 0.6 next to each other yeah and over here will be the same for minus 0.6 and the, so it, it balances out but like yeah again you're not gonna know when you're first starting you're not gonna you know be that anal about it weighing your plates no but even <laughs> with that like i'm actually surprised that some of them are exactly 20. yeah yeah yeah, yeah. That being said, they could be different now because they're getting a little bit of rust. So <laughs> they could be, could be all heavier now. Moisture content. Yeah. Uh, That's the talc area as well. So there's a bit of talc on it. Go ahead. <laughs> but yeah. Arthur loves his talc areas. I fucking hate talc. There's a hoover there. So, <laughs> so like when you approach Mark McQueen, who is obviously your coach, yeah. um, did, how did he take it when 
he found it that you trained in a shed. Did, did he find that weird or? No, he, he, it wasn't weird. But the only the only issue was sometimes he'd have like exercises prescribed that I couldn't do. Like you'd be like, oh yeah, I do leg press. I'm like I don't have a leg press. <laughs> I, have, I have to do something. So that was kind of difficult. We had to like change a lot of the accessory movements. Had to change to something that was barbell based or dumbbell based because that's all I had here. Like, but uh, yeah, apart from that, it was just yeah, you know, whatever, whatever facilities you have, we we'll make it work. You know. Yeah, you can get. I would say you can probably get like beyond the barbell and maybe a few dumbbells. Yeah. There's not much else you really no. need. need. You know? always, you Definitely not need. It's nice yeah. to have, yes. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Like I've often thought about getting like um like you see like the lap pull down and things from like you know, like the multi gym kind of things where you have like a lap pull down and like a chest press and stuff like that, just have yeah. some accessory stuff. But all the ones I've used are terrible, so <laughs> I yeah. wasn't sure about that. That's true. <laughs> Inspire someone else to set up their own shit, and then you can turn it into a franchise. If I can do it, anybody can. <laughs> <laughs> Fun fact: Rosanna Purcell is from Fenner. Oh yeah, and she's really hot. <laughs> right. Nice. Great. Thank need you. Anyway. We'll see you soon. Pleasure. Very much. Dead ass dope. That tricep dope. That walk dope. <laughs> that cow dung though. <laughs> Look at that castle though. There's our talc area right there. That was to leave enough space for James's shit. Here's the here's the graveyard for our, all our dying dreams. I'm actually gonna go this way, I'm gonna go Okay. Yeah, his tricep still looks massive. It's probably where they kept the protein. <laughs> is that the the table they use for the powerlifting meets? That is, yeah, yeah. They had um, Sir Rob, <laughs> the turd <laughs> of cash. I can't believe they had bottles of coke back then. Yeah. This is like the PC area in here. And then up there, then, is the main floor where like, you'd have all your Alico set and ER yeah, it's good space there now for camp. Oh, yeah. Hey.